Okay, so what you see me about to do now is go back and um, this is part of my crown maintenance. I'm going back and retighten up everything I did. I did it by hand and I, I sewed it in by hand. I prefer to do it that way because when I go back and fix it, I, could, I can see what I did and I know what I did. So what I did was shampoo the wig, let it air dry, and going back through it now and just making sure that everything is not flopping and, and loose. So I think, I, I don't even really know how old this one is. I think it's um, maybe six months old. So um, I'm going to let you see a little bit of what I, just a little bit of how I go back in. And um, try to make sure that the wig is back to where it was. And this is the thread I use. So if you see, it's nylon thread. It's not like the the cotton thread. It's nylon thread. So it's a different kind of thread. Actually, it's a stronger thread. So this is the thread. Got my curved needle. I'm a knot. Not yet. try this so you can see it in the camera. So I got one little flap at the bottom. So for this particular one, I started at the bottom at the flap. Some of them I don't. It depends on the client's need and hairstyle. But you can also do this on, with the sewing machine too. I just like doing it this way. Sewing machine is quicker but I like this way too. So you guys can kind of see. So by me making it myself, I know my pattern that I use. So all I'm doing is going back in and think of it just like this. You know how you go back and get your weave tightened? That's all this really is. It's like you're going back in and just tighten it up where just normal wear and tear has got to it. <laughs> 